Hey, what's up, Life Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2010 comedy action adventure film Date Night, starring Steve Carell, Tina Fey, James Franco, and Mila Kunis are in this for half a second. Um, Mark Ruffalo is in this. Mark Wahlberg is in this. Kristen Wiig is in this. Uh, John Barathel is in this for half a second. Like, it's Raji P. Henson is in this. She plays a detective in, in Manhattan. This movie is insane, absolutely insane. The extended cut is currently on Hulu. It's um, like an hour, 40 something minutes long. The original is like an hour and a half, but like this needs the extended, especially the bloopers at the end. I remember seeing this in theaters in 2010 with a friend of mine, we laughed our asses off. The entire theater laughed our asses off. This is a film that goes unrecognized as a, an amazing comedy action film with one of the best car chases in cinema history. Um, the only time people talk about it is when someone references it and then they go, oh my god, I love that movie. But no one actively, like, talks about it, talks about it. Like, it's it's so, like, minuscule when it comes to the comedy world, but it deserves all the credit because it is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Like I said, it only comes up if, like, someone briefly mentions it, but, like, if they're, like, remembering something and mentions it. Not like, oh my god, my favorite comedy movie is Date Night. No one says that. They only say it if they're trying to remember something from the movie, but it's hysterical. So this is about uh, two boring married people from uh, New Jersey, played by Steve Carell and Tina Fey. And uh, Steve Carell's character wants to try to surprise his wife and take her to dinner in Manhattan. Um, they go to this fancy restaurant and they can't get a reservation, so they steal a table. They steal a reservation from uh, the Triple Horns, who don't show up. Uh, to their reservation and then they get mistaken for the triple horns from this like these two thugs who take them to the alley and threaten them and then mark Wahlberg gets involved after numerous attempts it, it's it's one of those movies where you have to find a clue to find a clue to find a clue so let's find this phone number hey i know a guy who might know something let's talk to him and hey he can help us find the, this address so we go there hey i need that flash drive to escape this thing and then like at one point they still mark mark Wahlberg's audi and like crash into a taxi and they get fused together and then the two of the two cars i don't have vehicles but they're like one's in reverse one's in drive going through manhattan through police chases but there's dirty cops and then the da is involved in scandals and then ray Liotta is is another mobster it's just so entertaining the strip tease of steve carell and tina fey at the end was just absolutely perfect the whole plan and tina fey had one two three and the helicopter coming to roger p henson taking the new flash drive from Steve Carell, proving of the racketeering and all that other fun stuff of politicians. So we still see it today. But um, this movie is perfect. I love watching the bloopers because you see how many uh, improvisational takes it took to get some specific lines down. And you see that some of those specific lines are in the movies. This is the first time I ever saw or heard something where someone yelled to someone, shut your face or zip your face. Um, and I say that, and I forgot where it came from, but obviously it came from this film. Um, it's just such, it's such a fun action, car chasing film. Like who would have thought, who would have thought it'd be so entertaining. I will say this, if this was about two guys hanging out in Manhattan doing the same adventure, it'd be a buddy comedy film. But because it's, a husband and wife duo doing all of this it is classified as a rom-com it's very interesting the gender stereotypes that we throw on film tv and books that dictates what genre of project this is so because tina fey and steve carell are playing husband and a wife it's therefore a romantic comedy film but if this was steve carell and i don't know who's an obscure person um ryan reynolds doing a buddy comedy film of the same exact adventure stuff, uh, maybe Ryan's his brother and they haven't seen each other in a long time, so they wanna get dinner in Manhattan. And then they take the Triple Horns reservation and they go do their thing. Uh, it could have worked the same way as a buddy comedy film. So it's very interesting seeing that because it's a uh, multiversal, multi-genred, no. Multi yeah, multiversal genre of comedy. Either it's a buddy comedy film or it's a rom-com film. It's still a comedy film, but it could have gone either way. And that's what I love about it because of the versatility. Wow, we like dissected the hell out of this film. Go check it out. Uh, refresh your memory and zip your face. Uh, Hulu right now. <laughs>